I had a same day sale that you're gonna wanna see, so stay tuned on that. Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen. I'm the Restless Thrifter. I am a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, sometimes Depop, and I bring sales videos to you twice a week. So I'm gonna be sharing with you 15 sales, April 26th through 28th. This is a pretty good few days. $34 average sales price. That's the, the price that things sold without shipping. That's pretty good. My average profit per item, so how much I made after cost of goods fees was $20.19 per item. So that is good too. I also sold five items a day. That has been my goal for a while. I had a same day sale that you're gonna wanna see. It is a new bolo and that stands for be on the lookout. We borrowed that from the cops, right? But it's a item or brand or something to be on the lookout for when you're out thrifting. So stay tuned on that. Of my 15 sales, seven of them were $20 or more plus the cost of shipping. And those are the ones I consider my best sales. Three of those were also fast flips and that's anything that sold within 90 days or less. There were four other fast flips under $20 and then four mediocre sales. So those are the groups of items I will go over. Seven top sales and the first one, I'm gonna go in reverse order from least to most profit, is this Chico's size three tall US extra large pants, new travelers essential slim pants, slinky black. If it's that slinky kind of material, I would include slinky in your keywords of your title. I would include the Chico size, which in this case was a size three, and I would include what that equates to because they do have their own sizing and that's a US extra large. These sold in two and a half months on Poshmark. I had them listed for $45. I sent an offer to likers without discounted shipping, which is a new thing you can do on Poshmark at times. It's not available all the time, but at the top of your news feed, you know, where it has the banner of what things are going on, I check and if they are offering um, offers to likers without discounted shipping, I will go ahead and send my best offers, usually 25, 30% off. So offer to likers without discounted shipping went out for $28 and my cost of goods was $7.50. I got these at a thrift store that was closing down in the Plano area. That's in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. That's where I live. And my profit was $14.90. So not a bad one. That's a bread and butter item. Chico's slinky pants are something that I will sell pretty regularly. The next is a Melissa McCarthy 7 plus size 22W jeans, classic straight leg mid-rise. I had two in this exact same size and style. They both sold full price for $25. The other pair sold um, a few weeks ago. This pair sold in one month on Poshmark. I had paid $1.71. That was my average cost of goods at a church sale. And my profit was $18.29. Church sales are my favorite. They seem to be harder to find. I don't see them listed all the time on the yard sale and garage sale apps. I don't know where they list them. If you guys know, let me know because I'm constantly looking for church sales. Next is something I wasn't sure would ever sell, but it did. Alex size 14 pencil dress, new floral dot ruffled bodice buckle detail career. This is a cute career dress sold in 11 months on eBay. It was a full price sale of $25. It sold three weeks after relisting. My cost of goods, I got this in a Goodwill blue box, which is like a mystery box you can buy from buybluebox.com. And my average cost of goods in that box was $1.52. I made $19.95. I just didn't know if it would sell, to be honest. Alex is not a brand I'm familiar with. Now I mentioned that it sold in three weeks after relisting. I do recommend that you delist and relist your items occasionally. I like to do it on a daily basis. I'll do 10 to 20 items a day. I use a platform called Vindu to do that. I also start all my listings and cross post all my listings using Vindu. I have a discount code that you can use if you wanna try it out. I love it. It really helps me manage my business. 
It's where I track all of my inventory and all my analytics. Now you can also download a spreadsheet of all of your inventory if you want to keep a backup of it like I do, like just in case anything ever happened to Vindu servers or you know, they go out of business or something, I'm gonna have a backup of all of my data with that download. The next sale is a good one. It's a Cornelliani size US 46 regular sport coat, wool cashmere, gray two button suit jacket blazer. But it did take a year and two months to sell on eBay. And it's also being returned to me for fit. That is the risk you take when selling menswear like suits and sport coats. I had it listed for 145. Customer offered me 75. That seems very low, but guys, it had been online for a year. I accepted it. It also sold through promoted listings, so I had to pay a little bit more in fees. My cost of goods, don't come at me, it's <laughs> $32.86. I got this um, through a Goodwill auction site. Corneliani Wool and Cashmere, great sport coat to pick up probably overpaid, but my profit was $20.11, or it would have been if it wasn't coming back to me. I do believe I'll eventually sell it and make $20 again, and maybe more. Maybe I won't have to take such a low offer. Three more in the top sales. City Chic plus size 24 dress, formal pastel ballet, purple lilac midi bridesmaid. This took a year and two months to sell on Poshmark. I had listed it for $49. Someone offered me 41. My cost of goods was $1.70 and my profit was 31.10. I picked up a bunch of these city chic dresses a couple years ago and I just have a few more left to sell. This next one, although it wasn't my best sale of the time period, it, well, it kind of was too, I'll tell you. It is the Bolo and it's the one that sold same day this brand is New Works, N-O-O-W-O-R-K-S, and the listing, look for the logo, because it, it isn't something I would have paid attention to on a normal basis. It is a plus size 3X linen tank dress, new Naomi Floral People I've Loved Midi. People I've Loved is the name of the pattern, and this was, like I said, a new with tags dress, um, I think it retailed for over 200. I'm not even sure. I had listed it for $150 because I saw that it had a great sell through rate, great comps. A customer offered me $115 within like a few hours of me listing it, said, yes, I'll take that. Now my cost of goods, it was high, $25.97 and I did get this at Goodwill. So I paid up at Goodwill on something that they had priced up. I looked this up in big part because Goodwill had priced it up. I saw the dress. I loved the beautiful colors. I'm like, oh, this is nice and linen. Oh, it's a 3X. Oh, it's new with tags. I've never heard of this brand. $25? Like what? They have this at $25? Like what's so special about it? And then I looked it up and I'm like, okay, it is special. And yes, I'm taking a risk, but it really wasn't in the end. $66.03 was my profit. And then the best sale, except it's being returned to me for the second time, is a Hickey Freeman size 44 two-piece suit, Laurel Piana Super 120 pinstripe jacket and pants. This took 10 months to sell on eBay. Well, except for that's not true because it took 10 months to sell the first time, I think. The second time it sold like within a week or two. Um, yeah, I want to say two, two or three weeks at the most. I had it listed for 124. A customer offered me 112. And so it's going to be returned. I think it's already on its way back to me. So maybe third times will be a charm when I sell it. Um, I had paid $6.52 at a place called Mile High Thrift in Denver. And my profit was $85.51, except I'll have to return that. Gosh, guys, I have been having quite a few returns. That is part of the business though. I don't do free returns, so they have to pay for the cost of shipping and I don't I don't um, reimburse the cost of shipping. 
of the outgoing shipping or the incoming shipping, right? So they are losing some money when they return something, but if the item doesn't work for them, they'd probably rather get some of their money back, right? I have four other fast flips. This fast flip was a torrid size 0x extra large bra lace bandeau bralette white removable straps coquette sexy. Coquette is also one of those keywords that I'm using that's new to me. It's an aesthetic that is popular right now and I imagine you could wear this underneath something sheer. This sold in one month on eBay. I had it listed for 18. A customer offered me 15. It sold through promoted listings on eBay. I'm putting zero as my cost of goods because this was a personal item that I am selling that I wasn't wearing and my profit is $9.95. This sale was a Journey Size Small Band Tee t-shirt. Generations Beetle Phoenix Retro Burnout Soft. I put both tee and t-shirt if it will fit. This sold in two months on Poshmark. I had it listed for $14. I sent an offer to Likers without discounted shipping on Poshmark for 11. My cost of goods was zero because I got this for free from my sister and my profit was $8.05. Next, we have a Dress Barn Woman size 16 skirt, mini length khaki zipper detail Y2K style skirt. This sold in one and a half months on eBay. I was kind of surprised to be honest. It was a full price sale of $10. I had listed it low. I paid 27 cents. I got this at a thrift store called Family Thrift, I think, in Fort Worth. And they have a 25 cent sale at times. Um, I didn't find much, but I found a few things and I think I've sold two of the items and I only picked up a few. Um, I made $7.23. Last in the fast flips, is an MC Marc Chantal tooled leather satchel western studded brown shoulder bag purse. I picked this up at Salvation Army at their 50% off sale. This sold in three weeks on Poshmark. I had it listed for 15. A customer offered me 10. Now why did I list it so low and why did I take such a low offer? Because it had some damage to the strap. The faux leather or the real leather, I don't know if it was just like composite leather, whatever you call it. Um, was coming off of the handle. I had paid $4.32. My profit was $2.73. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to get your investment back, you know? I have four more sales to go over. These are my really mediocre sales, things that sold in more than 90 days and or sold for low money. This is a West Loop one size beach cover up tunic semi sheer pom pom boho beach vacation. It's something I got in a Goodwill blue box, so I didn't specifically source it. I sold it in 11 months on Poshmark through a customer offer of $12. I had it listed for 15. My cost of goods was $2.05. That was the average in that particular box. And my profit was $7. I can't believe this is a mediocre sale. Silver jeans. Silver jeans used to be a bolo for me. I would sell them very quickly for it and make 30 bucks on them. You know, it was like that. Not anymore. Silver jeans size 28 by 31 Suki mid slim boot cut medium wash faded. These sold in a year and two months on Poshmark listed for $18. I sent it to uh, through an offer to Likers without discounted shipping. This was the thing that took the longest to sell in these three days. I got these at a Goodwill in Denver for $4.89 and my profit was $6.16. Two more and you're just gonna roll your eyes at these sales, y'all. <laughs> Maybe I should stop sharing the really bad ones, but I wanna be real with you. Um, Jolt size five jeans, Y2K vintage, dark green rinse, low rise, juniors, stretch, skinny. These, I know they took longer than a month to sell. That's what it says here, but I had them listed for a long time. These sold on eBay after a really long time, maybe a couple of years. I had them listed for $14 and a customer offered me 12. My cost of goods was $5.03, which was the average from a Y2K mystery box that I bought from a company called Jomar that went out of business and I think maybe back 
I'm not doing these mystery boxes of I can help it. They might be fun and exciting and I may do them for a video sometimes, but really, honestly, it's best just to use your own knowledge to pick things out, especially because then you can look things up before you buy them. Did I say how much I made? $5.04. And then the last item is a native unisex kids size C7 shoes, patterned navy, silver gray, slip on sneakers. These sold in five months on eBay. These can sell for more than what I <laughs> sold them for. I had them listed for 14 and a customer offered me 10 and I took it. Sold through promoted listings. I had paid $5.40 and I made 87 cents and got my investment back. Um, Native shoes can sell. I just have been picking up the wrong ones, I guess. So I'm really kind of avoiding those now. I'm avoiding native. I'm avoiding silver jeans. What else did I tell you about that I'm avoiding? I'm not picking up suits and sport coats as much because they take a while and you do run the risk of returns and they take a little bit longer to list, but I still look for the really good ones. Corneliani is still really good. Hickey Freeman in a suit is still really good. So a lot of bread and butter, some lessons, and one big bolo, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't already, give it, give me that thumbs up. It'll really help. I noticed that a lot of my viewers are not subscribed, so subscribing would really help me out as well. And it'll keep me doing these videos more often. Thanks, guys. Just keep listing. Let me tell you a funny little story about flying insects. I hate them and you know if they have a stinger I really hate them and I was recently at my client's house little dog Maltese named Diesel. So cute this little guy. Anyhow I'm sitting there eating a salad. Sat down in the recliner feet kicked back sitting down to eat my salad and I see something flying around and I'm like ugh. I grabbed a big wooden spoon. I had it nearby. We'll pretend this is the wooden spoon. I had it nearby because I was, it's long and it was, I was using it to get things out from underneath the couch for the dog. <laughs> he put his toys under there. So I grabbed it and I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready if this sucker comes at me. And he did. He came right at me and I swatted it. And when I swatted it, I also hit the fork in my salad bowl and salad flew all over me. All in my hair, all over my clothes, all over the recliner. The dog was outside. At least we didn't get all over the dog. He had no interest in helping me clean it up. But I had good aim because I did kill that flying insect and it was a yellow jacket. Those are aggressive little suckers. And so I'm glad I killed him. But needless to say, I didn't eat any salad. I didn't even want the rest of the salad that was in the bowl after that. It had just been tainted. So I got up and shook the salad all off of me and I'm shaking out the blanket, which is when I saw the bug fall out and it was a yellow jacket and he was dead. I don't even know how I managed to hit him. I have the worst aim when it comes to anything, but I got him. 